We talk about priming the skin, so that means getting your skin ready to apply foundation, so making sure it's prepped, it's clean, and making sure it's hydrated and the surface is smooth. Now you can either use your moisturiser, and that's certainly what everyone did for years and years before primers were even big news, and what I did for the first 15 years of my career, and that's absolutely fine. Um, or you can use a special product, a primer. You can either use primers on top of your moisturiser, which I'm kind of not crazy about because I think it's just another layer. You know, I think sometimes you put on too much moisturiser and then you're putting on primer and then you're putting on foundation and it all, it's too much. And often if you buy a primer that's from a different brand from your moisturiser, you find that it starts peeling and they don't really sit together, the, the technology isn't, isn't suitable together. So when I use primers, I tend to look for ones that have real skincare benefits, so ones that you can really be very specific about your skin type, and that way you don't really need to use moisturiser first, or at least not all over your skin. And also it's just another expense, if you're buying moisturiser and you're buying primer, it's doubling the expense. So. If you're really interested in trying a primer, maybe look for one that you can use instead of your moisturiser. Now if you've got incredibly dry skin, you're probably going to find that you need moisturiser and you're probably either better off just using your moisturiser or finding a primer that will sit on top of moisturiser and sit on top of moisturiser well, of which there are plenty. Um, and it is really the technique, so making sure that that um, moisturises well into the skin before you apply your primer and not applying too much. Now the first one that I remember several years ago being big news was the Laura Mercier primer and now they do rather than just, they still do the standard one but they do them for different skin types and I think this is really clever because they do a hydrating one which is more for a, a drier skin and they do an oil free one which is a combination of oily skin. And I think this is a really clever way to think about um, primer because you can use it instead of your moisturiser, you're getting all the skincare benefits that you would from your moisturiser but it's also giving you a nice smooth surface and it's helping your foundation to last longer. So that's a good way of approaching it. Also for oily skin, um, I like the Givenchy one Mr. Matte and this is a silicon based primer which I tend to just use, um, unless someone's incredibly oily, I tend to just use it on the T-zone and maybe use, still use eye cream and bits of moisturiser on the other areas. It, it's about adapting it really to your skin type and making it the best for you. One of my all-time favourites which I think has been discontinued and I'm absolutely gutted is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More which has only been out a couple of years but I started to absolutely depend on this for when I'm on television because it felt like it was really filling in my pores. Um, it's a silicon based one and again it used to prime, it does prime the skin so well because it gives you that very velvety, very matte feeling to the skin but in a quite a moisturising way, a hydrating way and also I swear that this is filling in my pores brilliantly so I tend to use that one all around this sort of area when I've got something special going on. Um, primers are really good for dull skin so if your skin, no matter what skin type you've got, often people have quite dull skin and they want to add a little bit. You can either do this, an inexpensive way of doing it is to buy a good highlighter and just add a couple of drops to your normal moisturiser. And when I say a couple of drops, I do mean a couple of drops. You don't want to end up looking like a sort of spaceman and really metallic. You just want to give your skin a little bit more energy. You can buy primers which are specifically for this. Um, if you want to push the boat out, I do like this Guerlain one which has flecks of gold in. It's like a very fresh serum that feels very cooling and also just leaves nothing too frosty but just leaves a little bit of life on the skin so that one's really good and um, I absolutely love the Botanics one which is I just use instead of moisturiser because it's really nurturing it's a great skincare product as well and that again just gives your skin that hint of dewiness without being too metallic-y now there's lots of really nice creamy primers around and these are great if you do have more of a drier skin or if your skin is a bit bumpy, so if you've got bits of loose skin, even though you exfoliate, you always have sort of rough patches. 
um, or if you've had spots and they've left little marks or little bumps. There's a couple of really good Japanese ones. One is the RMK one and the other is the Suki one. And these feel very, very creamy, almost like you're sort of really nurturing your skin and they take a while to rub in, unlike the, um, the ones for the more oily skin. But once they go on, again they set and um, they give a very velvety feel to the skin and really help your makeup to last quite a long time. Now it's great when you can find a primer that does everything and I've discovered this one last summer which I absolutely love which is the Daniel Sandler one and I love this because it's SPF 20 which is great. It's also um, a very nice moisture, it's got all the skincare benefits so it gives you that nice sort of luminosity to the skin and it's helping your foundation to stay on and stay put and it's helping to stop oily breakthrough and it's got SPF 20 so that was a great one for me last summer because I don't want to be putting on SPF and then trying to put on primer and foundation and it all gets too much, too many layers, unnecessary. The other reason that primers are really good is that there are lots of skin tightening ones on the market now so if you feel like you need a bit of a lift either because your skin's a bit more mature or for any ages and you've just got a special occasion and you want to look a little bit more rested and a little bit more wide awake. It's a classic but it has to be my absolute favourite primer of all time and that's the Clarins Beauty Flash Bomb. I know it's been around for years but I have tried other ones and I always come back to this. Um, this is great because you don't want to use it every day, in fact you shouldn't, but for a special occasion I skip the moisturiser, I pop this on for an evening out, it tends to make my makeup stay on so well, you have a really smooth finish and if you apply it properly, and you really have to watch how you apply this because it has a film former, so if you put too much on and rub it too much it doesn't work, but if you smooth it on properly it really does give you a lift. Now I think the way I apply this is the way I apply all primers in that I don't tend to put tons and tons on and massage them in forever. I tend to use not too much, sort of a pea sized bit and then I dab it round and then just think about really smoothing in primer. So not too many strokes, you want to really make sure everything is totally covered in your skin but that it's it's done in nice long smooth strokes so it's giving you that smooth base on which to apply your foundation and that's ready now to go straight onto foundation so that's just a beginner's guide there's an awful lot to say about primer and there's other ones that I like I haven't included all of the other good ones out there but um, it's a good beginner's guide and if you are interested in primer I'd say definitely shop around look for something that suits your skin type if you can get away with not using moisturizer don't because it's another layer if you're worried because you haven't got a primer and really you don't want to invest in one because it's more money don't worry you if you've got a really really good moisturizer that you're using and your foundation goes on well it's not the end of the world but there are lots of good ones out there and take advantage of the fantastic technology hope that was helpful